the medium class weapon tier list, the best weapons for the class and go through each situations that you can use them and also understanding of how it comes to play, specialization and also the gadgets. And with this class, you're pretty much very agile, but also good at doing DPS. So you're pretty much like, it's well-rounded as you would say. And then the specialization you initially start with is healing beam. This is great for pocketing a teammate, usually heavy classes or other medium classes. And you create this scenario where you're both healing each other at the same time. It's really fun, but also if you pocket a heavy class when they're running with a sledgehammer, they can go swiping, be more aggressive, and it becomes much more forgiving because you're healing them from a distance. And it's really nice. That's your first specialization. But this will change in the future. You'll go for another specialization, most likely being the guardian turret because this turret is immaculate. For majority of uh, game modes, especially in the rank scene, Guardian Turrets shine a lot more than Healing Beams. But sometimes you may have two players, one having Guardian Turret, another having a Healing Beam. And then from there, you can have a Light or Heavy class as a uh, another character for your team comp in ranked. That's another discussion, but Guardian Turrets do shine. They have Aimbot, they work really well, they hold down locations, and that's very important in the game when you're trying to cash out cash as much as possible, make sure you win as a team. So always great to have that on. Alongside that, we have weapons being the R35-7, which is a pistol. This weapon here is essentially a pocket sniper. And if you played Hunt Showdown, it'd be like the Cowell Uppercut, uh, Cowell Conversion Uppercut, essentially like that. You shoot and it does shit ton of damage. I think it does around 140 or even 150 damage when it comes to a headshot. So it can kill light classes, I believe, from a single headshot. Uh, other than that, it'll take around two shots kill from a body shot as well. Then alongside that, we have the Scar. The Scar is just a better weapon in essence because of the accuracy you gain and the further range compared to the AKM. So if you want a sign on your gun, you can utilize this, but keep in mind, you're gonna have less clip size with this weapon. So that's the benefit of a scar. It's usually just more distant gameplay, but it should do a bit more damage. I don't know why it's not showing that, but it should do a bit more damage. Um, the AKM here is usually a well-rounded kit. You use it for nearly everything in the game and it's your starting weapon in the game. And honestly, it does very, very well. I see from stats on the right hand side. Just a really good, well rounded weapon. Alongside that, we have the Model 1887. And this is when it does get interesting. This is a shotgun, a lever action shotgun. And the damage is super crazy. Fire rate's decent, range decent, accuracy is decent, clip size six, not too bad. Kind of forgiving, in my opinion. And with a shotgun, you can be more aggressive with your class. So, say being so far away in the fights or medium range in the fights, they can be up close to personal, shooting their heads off with this shotgun and it is amazing. So a very strong shotgun, I would highly suggest using this and we'll go through a weapon tier list at the end of what well, weapon is good and what rank, but we'll just go through as we go. So that's the best way to highlight my ideas of each weapon and when you will use it. But this is always great for nearly every situation up close. Same as a CL40 is kind of interesting because there's a pump action grenade launcher and this grenade launcher can be used from any range, just depending on how you actually arc the grenade launcher itself and shoot the grenades from the launcher. But it seems to work up close and personal really well. And majority of fights in ranked especially, I actually lose his gun because it does destroy uh, the location. So it's destructive in its nature because it's a grenade launcher, but it also does damage when up close and personal. So sometimes you're trying to chase towards a, let's say if you're playing light class, you're going running towards a medium class and they have this gun and you didn't see it from afar. You thought it was a shotgun. Out of nowhere, the platform underneath you, when you're running towards them, is already gone. Then the damage from this gun is shredding you apart and it's like two grenades and you're already gone. It's like, see you later, back to using your coin as a light class. So this is really nice C for the medium classes because it does exist on a heavy class too, a grenade launcher variant, but this works here pretty darn well. So CL40 is pretty high up there in uh, usage for this game as a medium class. Alongside that, the last weapon we want to talk about is going to be the right shield. This is your melee weapon. Uh, the only melee weapon for this class. It's kind of interesting. I see people using it here and there. Obviously, the weakness is always getting around the character. If you're able to get around the character, it's very simple. But certain builds with the right shield hiding in a corner alongside having your guiding turret out at the same time means you're pretty much unkillable until someone chucks a uh, pyro grenade right behind you or something to push you out, like a poison canister of some sort. That is usually the best way to push out people with right shields. But even then, I don't think it's that useful, but it does give you a fun little build to have within the gameplay. It does block projectiles and can also block uh, close range weapons too. To a certain degree, I believe so. So that's quite fun if you want to be in a good team comp. For solo play, not the best, but in a team comp, could be really, really fun to utilize in conjunction with other characters in this roster or in the con contestants within the finals. So those are the weapons. I can easily rank those weapons. So I think the Scar is all right. I don't think it's amazing. So I'll put that as the baseline. So that if there was a B rank within the tier list, B for this Scar 
or F car, because obviously license issues. <laughs> there you go. The F car, that is the weapon there. And alongside that, you have the right shield, maybe in the conjunction with that as well. So both B rank. So these are your low T weapons, but can still be useful depending on scenarios. But those scenarios aren't always there, but they are useful for that case. Then from above, uh, above that, you have the R357 uh, as your pistol at A rank. And then alongside that, the AKM. And the, I can't tell if I classify the AKM as the best weapon, but it is very useful and very fun. And it feels very efficient, but I'm going to leave it at A rank. Because it's not overpowered, it's not strong, it doesn't go into the S rank, but AKM is A rank. So A rank, R37, A rank, B is F car, Riot Shield. And then from there, the last two options we have at ST rank is CL40 and then Model 1887. I think the Model 1887, from the last time we played it, is pretty darn strong. And what I've seen in gameplays is actually insane. Especially versus ranked, it is a shock how strong this is. And even the CL40. So I think those weapons are the best for this class. So if you want to save your points and accumulate it to access it from the equipment stage of the game and be able to purchase it, make sure to do so. That's the CL40 there, the Model 1887 for the medium class. Purchase it and enjoy it in conjunction with the Guardian turret, it could work out really well. We also have other options here with your utility, which we showcased on our screen right now, which we're running a Sonar Grenade, Jump Pad, and a Defib. Uh, Sonar Grenade is just great for util utility. to understand what the hell is going on in the situation you're in, and it gives you pretty much wall hacks. And that is a no-brainer to me. That is really good and very effective in gameplay. You have Jump Pad for movement and Defib to save your teammates. Because I took away my healing beam, I want to have something to help out in those close uh, counter moments where I can clutch it and destroy players. So that is something I do enjoy. Alongside that, there's other scenarios that people are playing with uh, certain equipment, which I can showcase. Uh, gas main, uh, mine, explosive mine, glitch trap. These have been really a big shock. You don't really expect it because it's on the ground. It's in a pathway. You're running up as a light class, medium class, heavy class, trying to get to the cash out. And out of nowhere, this mine does activate. And when it does activate, it's like, oh shit, I lost like half my HP. I have this orientation on my character, or I can't use my abilities. So this in conjunction is very strong, or even just one or the other. So usually people are just using the gas mine because you get it naturally on the medium class for free. And people are using that over the pyro grenade and such. So that's always really fun for defensive play. You also have the APS turret, and the APS turret works hand in hand with a guardian turret. So what you would do is drop a guardian turret, then drop that APS turret right next to it, which means that no projectiles that have been thrown by the enemy can actually affect the guardian turret. The only way they can destroy the Guardian Turret is by first destroying the APS Turret, and then tracking projectiles at the Guardian Turret, or both shooting uh, the, uh, the APS Turret and then hitting the Guardian Turret, or just hitting the Guardian Turret initially. Depending on the angles of the map, your APS Turret will save you in majority of cases. And really good for ranked play because everyone's lobbing grenades into the cash out locations quite quickly. Uh, alongside that, you have Gas Grenade. I would not use this, no point. I usually find gas canisters any anywhere. Night Vision's alright, Tracking Dart seems like it would be fun, but. It's more of a mean build, in my opinion, because you can't shoot through walls. You have to shoot the target first, then you get the wall hacks. And the wall hacks are very forgiving, but I would not run this. I don't think it's worth the points. And Zipline is kind of decent, but you get a jump pad for free, so why would you waste your points there? So, straight away, the medium class is a very good class and a really fun one. And can be really insane in certain builds. And I think one of the strongest builds right now for it, in my opinion, is going to be the Guardian Turret with the CL40 or Model 1887. One or the other, you make a choice there. Alongside having a Sonar Grenade, Jump Pad, Defib or not, and then moving that to APS turn. You can choose. But those are like the combinations you can have with this character. That's my tier list on the medium class for its weapons and how useful it can actually be in gameplay because it's quite fun and I do enjoy it quite a lot. But tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know and hear your opinions about everything because honestly, it is personal bias to certain things and what I've experienced within the game as is the tier list. And maybe weapons like the F-Car and the right shield could be S+. It just depends what occurs in those situations. And I do think they're situational at best, but they can shine in certain areas. That's for sure. But those are my opinions on those weapons, for sure. But tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. Thank you for being here. It's been a pleasure. And make sure to check out this other video right here for more content.